hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing us how to make this beautiful cape sleeve now this sleeve can be attached by tacking on the dress or it can be a detachable sleeve like you fix a press button at the shoulder seam here at this point and also at the back to make to keep it in place so if this is something you would like to learn keep watching and do not forget to like share and subscribe to, to my channel and click on the notification bell so you get notified when i post a new video let's go straight into today's tutorial mm -hmm. my paper is um, already cut out this is 30 on the long side by 15. so just cut or you can just do 15 by 15 on fold mm -hmm. so next thing i'll do is to get my shoulder seam how how far do you want your shoulder seam to be i want mine to be three inches so i marked three inches my shoulder seam is three inches then i'll draw a line out like this from three inches mark and i'll go out by two and two Total inches on either sides. Mm -hmm. Total inches on either sides of the line. This is three inches, and this is two and two. Make it four. Then I'm going to square. I'm going to mark a line, a slanted line of two inches. Now the line is moving towards the center line. It's moving towards the center line. Something like this, just two inches this way. Then I'll do the same thing on this other side, two inches towards the center line. Connect. I'll connect this point to the end of my paper here. To this point, like this. And I'll also do the same thing on this other side. The next thing I'll do is to fold my paper into two like this. Um, the part that I need is um, this side. This upper part is not, it's not needed. But if you watch, if you look at the, um, the picture, you notice that the sleeve is kind of curved around this side is curved so i'm going to try to to make a curved shape using my free hand if you i don't know using okay before doing that let me just measure what i want this part is going to be at your upper arm what i actually want for the sleeve the length i want is on 10 inches so i'm going to connect 10 inches like this with a curve So I'm good like this, 10 inches, okay? So from this point to this point here is 10 inches, which is what exactly what I need. So I'm just using my free hand to blend before I cut out to give me that exact shape in the picture. So I'll be cutting out now. So this is what it looks like right now. This is what it looks like. So this is exactly what I'm going to cut on my fabric. I'll cut the fabric that will be showing outside, the lining. I'm using a lace fabric. So it's going to have an underlining, then a lining, and the interfacing. So I'm going to be cutting like four different fabrics. The lace, the underlining, the interfacing, and the lining. My pattern is on my fabric. This is a light, um, shining scuba fabric. I'll be adding 
I've already pinned it. So I'll just add half inch of the same allowance in this area. Half inch all around the little parts. So This is it. Now I'm going to cut two of these, or rather four, for the two hands. This is two. I'll cut another two. This is the lace fabric that I'll be using. Very beautiful lace. Um, it has uh, two colors, black and gold. But I want to use the gold part, so I'm going to arrange the pattern. I'm going to arrange the pattern. In the best possible way my pattern has been arranged the next thing i'll do is to cut so this is the lace that i have cut out already so the last thing i'll cut is my interfacing then i will go ahead to iron this is my cloth stay interfacing um i folded it into four because i'm going to i'm going to be interfacing the the lining and the underlining i want it to have structure so i'm going to be interfacing the two of them so my interfacing is actually folded into four i'll just cut it out now i am the interfacing on the lining and the underlining i've gone ahead to match the underlining on the lace like this as you can see the lace is no longer transparent so this is what it looks like right now the next thing I will do is to is to join it along this um, underarm part, this part. I'm just going to place it like this. Like this. Then I'll sew. I'll run a stitch completely from up down for each of the, the cape sleeve. I'll do it on the two of them then for the lining piece all i will do is um, what i'll do is i'll sew to like that's it um four inches then leave like two inches opening then continue sewing now the reason for the opening is so that i can by the time i'm done sewing all of them together i'll be able to bring out the front from that um two inch opening so that everything will look neat. I want it to look very neat. So I'm just going to run four inches, leave two inches and continue sewing on the lining piece only. For the main fabric, I will sew all the way, all the way from up, all the way from up down. I have sewn all of them. Like I said, I left, I left an opening here, two inches. I've sewn all the front sleeve. That's the front um, part of the sleeve, of the cape sleeve. I have gone ahead to sew this part. This is what it looks like right now. This is what it looks like. So the last thing I'll do is to open up the pieces like this, front facing front. Just like this, then I'll run a stitch round, round all of them, front facing front, like this. 
I just want to stitch round all around all around all of them I'm gonna have to sew it all around please ensure that you match this um, same line this line with the lining they should be on the same line like this so the next thing I'll do is to notch I'm going to notch all round like this all round now the reason why I'm notching is so that it can lay very flat when I turn it over okay, so I'm done with the notching now to bring it out remember that um, 2 inch opening we left I'll just bring it out from there this is what it looks like so I'll just take it to my ironing table and then give it a very good press and show you the final look of the sleeve here's the inside I'll use my um, unneedle to finish up this side using an um, um, invisible stitch or you can just um, place your aiming tape in between iron it down whatever way you think you can finish up this part finish it up neatly then I'll iron it very flat this is the final result of the sleeve we've been making it came out so beautiful Okay, so um, I'll attach this by tacking. Either I have two options. Either I tack it, I tack the shoulder here, this part of the shoulder seam, and then here, then also the back. Or I could make it a detachable sleeve. Like I place a press button. I place press button here, here, and at the back. Um, whichever way. I'll be able to fix the sleeve on the dress. I'll decide <laughs> what works. So thank you all for watching till the end of the video. I really appreciate. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Bye.